Hello, hello. Day three of the Spurpreneurship Summit. Welcome everyone. Just finishing a few more things. So, welcome. It really is quite a journey, quite a journey, I have to tell you. It's been fascinating to speak with everyone, to have all these live guests with me that are very dear friends of mine that I've met on this journey of my own entrepreneurship, and which is the business with self discovering the things that we are really passionate about, the things that we could talk day in and day out, where it just never stops, right? And so that definitely is a reason why, you know, we had to have these ABCs because when we're not aware of all these wonderful things happening around us, then how on earth are, going, are we going to be noticing what's happening inside of us? And then with the breath yesterday, which was a beautiful exploration in different ways, it just happened to be so different. And so, because we don't realize that the space that we're in, that the breath that we're having that brings us from one place to another, from one thought to the next, that there is a space between them. I had a conversation after Swati's live with her about how it makes a difference when we pause, when there is like this energy we will talk about that is also space that is not definable, which is, that's what's so difficult, right? Because so many things have space. She was even telling me one part of them is like within, between in our bodies, like in our ears, there's space between the other parts of our body. And so I really, you know, the conversation with space and the, the spaces between things, could have been a whole other, maybe even a whole summit, right? And today talking about connections, so many things have come through my mind. But first of all, <laughs> yesterday's experience I had in my life intro was that I was under the assumption that if I am on mute, on Zoom that nobody can hear me, but no, you could hear me. And this is where this disconnection happens right there, right? It's not really the disconnection that we relate to, but that it's disconnected from what the outcome actually is. What is this that I'm sending out that is, I thought, not being received when in fact it was received, but unless I connect with someone on the other side, like this time, literally on the other side, I won't know what is actually happening. And as you can see today, I'm using an actual connection to my computer because my phones weren't working. And for that reason, I actually thought, oh, this is perfect. Because we're talking about connection now, I'm actually connected, like in a physical way with my computer and the sound. Hope you can hear me. If you're listening, if you're watching, thumbs up if you do. <laughs> And there is so much, so many different kinds of connections, just as much as there's different ways to look at space, there's many different ways we can look at connection. And today we have two pre-recorded sessions that you can watch if you're in the group or if you're on my mailing list, uh, specifically for the summit, uh, you can watch them. And when you, Watch it. it's Christina Crooks and Dodo Schaller. They both talk about connection within their business. So Christina talks about connection, how she makes the people that she's working with, makes them see the connections that they're having to their self, but where they are disconnected. She's asking questions. She's such a beautiful coach in ontology. And that makes her find see different ways of connecting to themselves. And then Dedu, who I had here last year on the summit, 
who's had decades of experience in her own business has shared with us how she felt disconnected from the business she built for 10 years and wasn't herself anymore today, or oh, that was a year ago. Actually, we were speaking with her at the beginning of that transition, I remember. And I wasn't part of that transition. I wasn't, I was part of the beginning of the transition, but we haven't really spoken about it. So it was really interesting to see how she connected to herself in different ways, including human design, which we're gonna have Renske speak about on Friday. So please, you know, contact me, join this group. You can fill out that, uh, you can find out that your chart by going to that link that I shared in my group. I will repost it a little uh, further up so you can see it. And it's so helpful because for Dadu, it was one of the key components that she once looked into many years ago. And now again, she's looking into, she looked into it again and it shifted pretty much everything she does today, as far as I understood. And it's incredible how there are so many tools out there. Like we had Christina who's talking to this through sessions. We had Dedu who is going through these, this human design, how we can connect deeper to who we truly are because even if we thought we know ourselves, there's going to be new places we find out new things especially when we are in connection with other people, with new people, with new subjects, with new subject matters, especially that nowadays come up like everywhere, like crazy, right? Talking about health issues, talking about political issues, all of those, even if you thought you were on the same page forever, you might have all of a sudden have a fallout by something, right? And so this is where I see these connections happening. And today I have two beautiful live speakers with me again uh, at 11 and at one, which is in less than two hours and four hours. And it's uh, Roman Franson, who is speaking also on day of discovery. And then we have Cindy Olsen, who is so dear to me. Unfortunately, we haven't had so many times to chat and like connect with each other. So today is gonna to be just a treat for me to be reconnected with her because she is, for me, she's just a nature person. She's a nature guide. She just guides people through nature. And I'm just curious to see where her journey has gone and how she has connected to nature once again, in which way, how has it evolved through COVID, through all these times that we've been, you know, I know that there was some trouble to connect with people in real time and with nature, there is no substitute. <laughs> we can't substitute through the screen unless we each go into there, but still it's not going to be the same. So I'm really curious about that conversation, how that's going to go and see how that is. So I really, really encourage you to come and join me on these conversations and bring your thoughts in as well. And check, see. So, yeah, I mean, to me, what is really, really fascinating when it comes to connection, as I just explained in these different aspects, right? Like one, you can connect to nature. The other one, you can connect to yourself. You can connect with another person who is a professional in a certain field that can guide you through that. And then four, you can also connect through different resources that shed a light on a deeper level. And uh, Roman actually, she comes in here and I wanna to talk to her about how the connection to self and others has been developed with that journey that she's been on, that she's talking more in detail in the discovery. But today, I just want to make it like a pre, uh, pre talk to the conversation that we're having tomorrow. Because the one that we have tomorrow, we already had, so we know the answers. So <laughs> it's going to be really, really interesting for me to see. And so the same thing that I wanted to bring in is to for you to ask yourself 
what's your greatest connection? Where do you connect the deepest? Do you connect to nature? Do you connect to yourself? Do you connect to others? Is it your surroundings that matter? What is it that is your primary connection? For me personally, it's a connection to people. Well, I had some rough days in a good way. We can have rough days in a good day, way, right? I think, I mean, at least that's how I feel. And yeah, because what happens is like, it was, it's, I'm such a, on such an emotional roller coaster right now because the speakers share such deep experiences like pain and suffering that they went through some some of them it just recently happened some of them it was decades ago and we forget how much people go through and we don't actually get to talk about these i just had a conversation with a friend of mine that you know it's the most important thing is to share with people how we're real feeling a vulnerable side but it takes time it takes time to and the right space to really be able to let our guards down, to really talk about the tough stuff. Because first, you got to cover up all that surface stuff, all the things at the at the top, right? Which is my everyday, what I do for work, the challenges I had yesterday, and maybe I was, you know, getting upset about something. My kids, or my husband, or my partner, or my boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever your partner is and family you know and that's just the surface and in the end all that's left is ourselves it's actually not the other people it's ourselves and how we connect those dots is is incredible like i just don't know if we're ever going to figure this out because i'm reading this book how emotions are made and it's just incredible how much our brain takes in by just seeing certain people, certain things around us that just bring up memories that we don't realize we're relating it to, that connection again, right? And our reaction, our response, the way we go about them will have a certain way of expression. It could be very harsh, it could be very soft, it could be very vulnerable, it could be in, uh, painful, it could be very, very different. It all depends, but it's happening so sudden and so fine that you don't ever know. You don't ever know that it's happening with so much other input. And, um, I mean, that is really a subject for itself. And I don't want to keep you hanging in here too long, but it's really for me, the point of this discussion is to really look deeper. Like first, where is your greatest connection? What is your greatest connection, your primary connection? And then what else is there? What holds you back to really let your guard down? Is it because you don't feel safe? Is it because you wonder if people care? Or is it just that apprehension of going into that place you've never been before? Because that will lead us to tomorrow, talking about discovery, because the, we need to get to that deeper connection to really be able to discover this other part of us so that we can move forward. So thank you very much for listening. I hope I'll see you later today. Again, message me to join the group on and or my mailing list so you can really get all the insights because you need to get access with a link. So I appreciate you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you there. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place.